The LA Times took a poll recently, and they named the greatest Lakers of all time. And there is now a hot controversy in the streets because there is a Laker legend that got snubbed. Let me explain. So the poll finished in the following order. So number one is Magic, obviously. No controversy there. Kobe Bean Bryant, number two. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, number three. Jerry West, four. Fine with that. Elgin Baylor, five. Shaquille O'Neal then comes in. LeBron James and George Mikan tied. A lot of room for debate. My top four, not in any order, probably Jerry West, building the bedrock of the Lakers organization from a player perspective and as a GM. Magic, Kobe, Kareem. Then probably Shaq. I'm sure you probably have a different Mount Rushmore. It's fine. But there is one former Laker that is just absolutely steaming that he didn't make the list. Who could it be? Rack your brain. Think about it. Who's not on the list that deserves to be on the list? The shame. The, the audacity to leave him off this list. Think about it. Who could it be? Who could it be? Is it Derek Fisher? No. Is it Robert Ory? No. Is it Brian Shaw? Brian Shaw would never do that. He's much too humble to be pissed about anything. He's awesome. No. It's Nick Young. Swaggy P. Are we serious? Yes, the legend. Swaggy P. Yes, the top 75 list made the rounds, and Nick Young is pissed off that he's not on that list. He was, he's been out of the league for four years, and he's pissed. He wants you to know that was a disrespectful list towards him. He said, the hate is real. Why y'all hate me but love me Nick Young Nick 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 Young I love him he's salty about this remember D'Angelo Russell and the Snapchat incident Nick you could say Nick Young and, and D'Angelo Russell broke the Lakers they've never been the same since they won that little bubble title and they've never been the same Nick Young was never a Laker great he won a title with the Warriors he ranks outside of the top 100 in total win shares while with the Lakers. He's not even in the universe, not even in the atmosphere. He shot 40% from the field, period, his entire Laker career. And, of course, they never made the playoffs while he was there. So that's important to note as well. However, Nick Young, don't worry, rest easy. You should rest easy knowing that even though you're not a top 75 Laker, you would 100% make a lot of other top 75 lists. So here's, here's the list. There's a short list of top 75s that Nick Young would definitely make. Let's go through it. Top 75 most memeable NBA moments for the gif of him walking away with his hands up, celebrating a three that did not go in. That one is an all-timer. I use it all the time. I use it once a week. Top 75 ridiculous NBA statements for saying he was the greatest three-point shooter in NBA history in 2014 and saying he'd have scored 46,000 points by his 20th season in the league. He played 12 years, and he scored 8,000 points. Top 75, probably number one with the bullet, Fastest engagements blown up by having someone secretly record your tales of infidelity when D'Angelo Russell taped him on Snapchat, bragging about all the times that he cheated on Iggy Azalea. Don't even know how he got it, Iggy Azalea. Top five, top 75 worst takes on college, women's college basketball when he called the women's Final Four JV ball because they didn't bring in the big bucks and then claimed his IG was hacked. Also probably goes on the probably most ridiculous statements as well. Top 75 least accountable NBA players when he admitted when he was a rookie as a wizard. He and Andre Blatch were, quote unquote, messing around, I think, with one of the cheerleaders or assistants. And then they found out people was blaming us like it was our fault that she got fired. Top 75 worst responses to the Ime Udoka controversy when he said things get happen when you get bored. 
I mean, we could go on and on. Top 75 most violent plays in a church league basketball game when he allegedly grew enraged and jumped another player when the ref missed a call, then attacked the player, and it ended up in a lawsuit. Top 75 worst reactions when Lil Nas X came out and said he was gay. When he tweeted, my kids will never play Old Town Road again on the speaker box. Wow. And, of course, finally, top 75 people who love cocaine. When he said on a live stream, I want people to pass me cocaine, everybody needs to do cocaine. Swaggy P. There's no one like him. Keep doing you. Top 75 on my list, Swaggy P. You're one of my top 75 Lakers. Just none of them are about your ability to play basketball.